Environments and states, 环境和状态 Another important distinction we must make when discussing programming languages is whether changes occurring as the program runs affect the values of data elements or affect the interpretation of names for that data. 什么意思？是另外一个区分的什么东西呢？ Changes occurring as the program runs affect the values of the data elements, or affect the interpretation of names. This is easy to understand. The first is that when the program is running, it will constantly change its state, right? Side effect. What is the change in state? Is it the value of the number? Is it the value of the number? Or is it the value of the number? 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 来举个例子 ，the execution of an assignment such as x 等于 y 加一 changes the value denoted by the name x. More specifically, the assignment changes the value in whatever location is denoted is denoted by x. 那 x 实际上是一个有一个地址，对吧？那你不断的改变的时候，你这个所指的地址里面。的的的这个内容就不断的变化，这就属于 value 是吧？这应该属于 value。It may be less clear that the location denoted by x can change at runtime。嗯，还有一种情况就是这个 x 它的地址在内存里面是是是可以变化的。For instance, as we discussed in example 一点三 ，if x is not sta- a static variable。Then every object of the class has its own location for an instance of variable x. In that case, the assignment of x can change、um, any of those instance variables depending on the object to which a method containing that assignment is applied. 对，我觉得回到刚才这个例子还是挺挺好的，在 Java 里面这 static。那不同的 object， 你就不同的 x， 那不同的 location。好 ，so the association of names with locations in memory， and then with values can be described by two mappings that change as the program runs、uh,。by two mappings that change as the program runs。OK， 所有的关于这些什么名称啊和地址啊这些，它都是用过通过下一个这两个概念来去来去来去管理啊。第一个就是环境 ，is a mapping from names to locations in the store、啊。since variables refer to locations, L values in the terminology of C, we could alternatively define an environment as a mapping from names to variables. 啊，第一个环境它就是变量的名称和内存地址之间的这么一个映射。第二个呢 ，the state is a mapping from locations in store to their values. That is, the state maps L values to their corresponding R values in the terminology of C. L 值和 R 值这都是 C 语言里面用的术语。那第二个状态就是 state 状态 ，state 状态就是地址和值之间的一个 mapping。那这么你你有了这两个 mapping 之后，是不是也就是就整个这件事情就能处理的比较清楚了，对不对 ？Environments change according to the scope rule of a language <咳>。来去看一下啊，那环境呢 ？Change according to the scope rules。Of a language. Now, scope rules, 还记得吗 Dynamic 和 static, lexical 和 dynamic, 对吧？看这个例子 Consider the C program fragment in、uh, 1.9. Integer i is declared a global variable and also declared as a variable local to function f. When f is Executing the environment adjusts so that the name i refers to the 
to the to the to the location reserved for the i that is local to f and any use of i such as the assignment item set shown explicitly refers to that location typically the local i is given a place on the runtime stack你在一个global里面全局有一个i 运行时的stack上面的有一个地址。但是你全局变量就不是在stack上面的。Okay, okay. whenever a function g other than f is executing, users of i cannot refer to the i that is local to f. Users of name i in g must be within the scope of some other declaration of i. Uh, an example is uh, the explicitly shown statement x to i ja e, which is inside some procedure whose definition is not shown. The i in the i ja e na presumably refers to the global i. As in most languages, declarations in C must pro proceed their use, so a function that comes before the global I cannot refer to it. Anyway, this is a very一个字,这个字还说,这个字还说,这里面如果用到了I的话,这个字还是指的是全局变量。so the environment and state mappings in are dynamic, but there are a few exceptions. exceptions. Static versus dynamic binding of names to locations. The exception. Most bindings, most binding of names to locations in, is dynamic. 在内存中的地址，大部分都是动态的，是不是可以理解啊？对吧？你只有在运行的时候，嗯，它由这个由这系统给你分配地址嘛，所以它是这个动态的。And we discuss several approaches to this binding throughout the section. Some declarations, such as the global I in figure, can be given a location in the store once and for all, as the compiler generates object code. 啊哈，我看他在说什么？ Uh -huh. Typically, technically, the C compiler will assign location in virtual memory for the global I, leaving it to the loader and the operating system to determine where in the physical memory of the machine I will be located. However, we shall not worry about relocation issues such as these, which have no impact on compiling. Instead, we treat the address space. That the compiler uses for its output code, as if it gave physical memory locations. Okay, 你一般的这里面使用都是虚拟的内存，虚拟内存，因为最终你运行之后，这是操作系统和这个 loader， 呃，才决定你具体在物理地址上面是是哪里啊。但是我不太清楚，你这个你可以可以可不可以在 C 应该不可以啊 ？C 语言里面能不能指定我我？就指定某一个具体的物理地址，这好像不可以，好像是不可以的。接下来看什么一个特例呢 ？Static versus dynamic binding of locations to values. The binding of locations to values is generally dynamic as well, since we cannot tell the value in the location until we run the program. Declared constants are an exception. 啊，除非是。常常量，对吧 ？For instance, the C definition define 是吧？就这这就是一个常量
，它呢就是它的值已经是固定的了。Binds the name to the value statically. We can determine this binding by looking at the statement, and we know that it is impossible for this binding to change when the program executes. 嗯，就是这些变量和值，还有变量名称这这些互相的这个变化。嗯、um, ，看一下啊，看一下都讲还有还有什么东西啊 ？Static scope, block structure, explicit access control, dynamic scope, parameter passing, aliasing, exercise for section summary. OK， 你看这里面就是讲到了很多 C 语言里面的具体的架构啊。呃，这其实都是在讲，就是让大家熟悉一下这个编程语言里面常见的一些概念。嗯，对的，这样的话就你就不减少你的错误，是先熟悉这些内容。其实他并没有解释，就是这些内容、这些概念和编译具体有什么关系，对吧？但是，但但是暂时他没有接触到。后来它肯定会啊，这是因为每一个 feature 啊，在编译器编译器里面都是有相应的，你需要把它实现出来。哎呀，刚才也是又又休息了一下啊，挺累的。但是看了几个挺有趣的新闻啊，说阿拉伯兄弟和黑人兄弟也又帮忙了，真是的，具体不说了，具体不说，这是政治话题不说。总之，懂的人都知道了。阿拉伯兄弟、黑人兄弟帮了我们，又帮忙，行，挺开心的。Static scope, static scope and block structure， 什么意思 ？Most languages, including C and its family, use static scope. The scope rules for C are based on program structure. The scope of a declaration is determined. Implicitly by where the declaration appears in the program, later languages such as C++, Java, C# Sharp, also provide explicit control over scopes through the use of keywords like public, private, protected. 啊，所有都是来控制你的 scope 的这些关键词 So in in this section, we consider static scope rules. For a language with blocks, where a block is a grouping of declarations and statements, C uses braces, 花括弧，花括弧，对吧 ？To delimit a block. 什么叫做一块儿？一个程序块儿，就是 C 语言就是用花括弧。The alternative use of begin and end for the same purpose dates back to algo. 对、啊，你可以也可以用 begin 和 end， 挺有挺有趣的，复古，非常复古。我不知道现在的 C 还能不能用这个，我一会儿可以去试一下。To a first approximation, the C static scope policy is as follows. 这是一个例子啊，我们看一下。A C program consists of a sequence of top-level declarations of variables and functions. 嗯。啊，全局的变量，全局声明，变量和函数。然后呢 ，functions may have variables, declarations within them, where variables include local variables and parameters. The scope of each such declaration is restricted to the function in which it appears. 这个比较简单，就是函数内部定义的变量都是内部变量，局部变量。The scope of a top-level declaration of a name, name x consists Consists of the entire program that follows, with the exception of those statements that lie within a function that also has a declaration of x. 啊，如果你全局变量的 x， 如果你所在函数里面没有 x 的话，那它指的就是全局变量的 x。但如果有的话，它就指的 local 的那个，这意思。刚才我们已经看到了，嗯、um,。我们看一下啊，啊，这些这些我们可能就不看了，这这些定义啊，定义我们就不看了。接下来呢 
the additional detail uh, regarding the C static scope policy deals with variable declarations within statements. We examine such declarations next and in example E.6. In C, the syntax of blocks is given by one type of statement is a block. Blocks can appear anywhere that other types of statements, such as assignment statements, can appear. A block, 就是 a block 可以出现在什么位置上？你你只要出现赋值语句的地方，它都能够出现一个 block. A block is a sequence of declarations followed by a sequence of statements, all surrounded by braces. 啊，程序段，程序段能够出现在你代码当中哪里啊？哪些地方？嗯、um, ，Anyway， 这个这个来看具体的例子才比较好理解啊。Note that this syntax allows blocks to be nested inside each other 啊，可以嵌入嵌套。它这个之所以形成 block， 就是为了限制变量的范围啊。那变量这个呃，这种这种 block 还可以嵌套 block， 所以你的代变量。名字就可以来进行这个管控。This nesting property is referred to as block structure. No, the code, of the C family of languages, has block structure, except that a function may not be defined inside another function. Okay, 这就是一个特例，就是你的一个函数，你不能在另外一个函数里面定义。We say that a declaration D belongs to a block B if B is the most closely nested block containing D. That is, D is located within B, but not within any block that is nested within B. Okay. The 这这个真是有点怪啊，就是不是不是怪，就是里面有很多细节，很多很多情况出现。呃、uh, ，the static scope rule for variable declaration in block structured languages is as follows:、um, if declaration D of name X,、uh, declaration D of name X belongs to a block B, then the scope of D is all of B except for any blocks B prime. Nested to any, this, 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 we don't see the details. We'll see it later. We'll see it later. This scoping is very, 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 它里面有一个 block 在这出现了，那它这儿又一个 block， 这还有一个 block， 就你可以在里面随便加的，这是 C 加加啊 ，C 加加语言。那么你看这里面你数一下的话，有几个 block？B 一就是属于这个 block，B 二呢 ？B 二属于它这里面又加了一个 B 二 ，B 三是这个，对，那你在这不同的 block 之间。这个变量，你比如说这个 a， 这个 a， 这肯定是这个 a 嘛，最近的这个。这 b 呢？你这 b 肯定是在就上面的，你往上走嘛。那这个 b 呢？这个 b 是这个 b 吧？就不是这个 b， 对吧？这个这运行一下就能看出来了。我们看一下这个例子啊，呃、uh, ，C 加加 program has four blocks with several definition variable a and b. As memory a, each declaration initializes to the number of blocks which it belongs. No. Okay. Oh, this to explain it might be too 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 complicated. There are so many details. For instance, consider the declaration a in block one. Ah,、uh, in B1, the a equals one. 在 B 里面 ，A 等于一，对吧？嗯，我看他是说什么。那他的 scope is all of B 一 ，except for those blocks nested perhaps deeply within B 一 ，that have their own declaration of A。啊，这个是不是理解了？就是你一个变量如果在底层嵌套的里面，如果没有 A 的话，你看这里面就有一个 A 嵌套的。
。那如果这个里面就没有 a 嘛，没有嵌套的 a， 那它这个 a 就指的是这个全局的这个东西，就这意思。我看他再看一个啊例子啊，嗯、uh, ，the wrong declaration be a nested deeply immediately within it does not have declaration。啊，算了吧，这个不看了吧，就是有点有点烦啊，有点烦。行，我们在这儿再休息一下吧。